Hi there, and welcome to our video on foam sizes and how to measure cushions. Foam comes in blocks that are four feet high, seven feet wide, and up to 10 feet long. Using foam cutting equipment, we can then cut the foam to any size that you require. However, for our online quick ship program, you can order the thickness in half inch intervals and the other measurements to the nearest quarter inch of accuracy. If you have the old foam, then use that to determine your measurements. For a seat cushion, this is the thickness, this is the width, and this is the seat depth. If it's a back cushion, this is still the thickness and the width, but we refer to this measurement as the height. If the foam is compressed and out of shape, then you may need to measure the seams of your cover to determine the size of your foam. When doing this, make sure you add a half inch to the thickness, width, and depth of your measurements. So if your fabric border is four inches, your foam size would be four and a half inches. If your width is 21 and a half inches, then you would order 22 inch wide foam. And if your depth is 23 and a half inches, then make the foam 24 inches deep. It, you need to do this in order to fill out your cushion better. If you don't, the fabric will look baggy. When ordering foam, you should keep in mind that foam is very flexible. Therefore, if it's a little bigger, it will compress to fit your cushion better. If you have an old cushion, the fabric or leather is probably stretched. In order to fill the casing properly, in addition to adding a half inch to all your foam measurements, you may want to consider adding some fiber wrapping to your foam. The fiber will make the cushion look rounder and more full. Have a look at our fiber wrapping video to understand this concept better. Thank you for watching.